Daniel, welcome home. How does it feel to be back where it all started? Yeah, it feels, it feels good. A lot of changes, as I can see from since I was here, you know, in the, in the change room, a lot of refurbishments and also in the stadium as well. So, yeah, it's, it's good. You started off training um, a couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. How did that come about? Yeah, as, as soon as my, you know, my agent told me that Palace were, were interested and they want me to come in and, you know, to see my, my fitness and to see how I'm in training. And, you know, I said, yeah, defo. And then obviously um, worked out and I uh, earned myself a contract. And now I'm looking forward to being back on the field and just, you know, playing and just, just enjoying football again, really, and just playing with a smile on my face. You also mentioned the change rooms, which are, are different. How different is the club to the one that you left back in 2012? Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely improved. I mean, um, you know, when I left, it was, in the, it was in the championship, but now, obviously, we're, we're in the Premier League and been in the Premier League for a long time. So, yeah, it's been, been very good. Got a lot of quality players and, yeah, looking forward to, you know, playing with them and just improving as, as we go on and just to help out the team. It's a short-term deal at the moment, but what are your hopes from, from this return to Palace? Yeah, hopefully I'll just, uh, you know, crack on, you know, do well in training and improve my fitness and, get some game time which, which I need and just hopefully I can um, help, help the team and hopefully um, extend the contract. It's been a tough couple of years for you, two or three years with, with injuries. Do you feel like, even though you're coming back somewhere you've been before, this is kind of a chance to put that behind you and a fresh start? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, hopefully my injuries are, are, are behind me and I could just, just focus on just you know, just playing um, and enjoying my football, as I said, really, and just playing with a smile on my face and that's, that's the most important thing. And you're back with your old mate Wilfred Zaha. How has that been? Yeah, he's been he's been he's been good. He's he's welcomed me in well. Um, you know, I know a lot of the players here uh, from before. You know, past with you know with Liverpool and and also with with playing with England. The lads have been quality with me really. Um, you know, as soon as I came in, I felt I felt a part of the team straight away. You know, it's a it's a great dressing room to be in, and yeah, I'm enjoying it. And uh, what was it like playing under your old teammate Sean Derry for the under 23s? <laughs> yeah, it was it, it was different. Um, yeah, seeing him, um, you know, well, I'm used to him giving orders anyway when he was, when he was captain. So, yeah, it was, it was a good run out. Um, I enjoyed it. And then, um, yeah, hopefully I get to play another game and just, just improve my, my fitness and uh, get match fit as well. How many sugars are you taking in your tea these days? Well, tea or coffee? Uh, tea, please. Eight sugars, please. Tea, please. Three. Three and a half sugars, please. Nah, probably be two sugars now. <laughs> yeah. Right, you're in the first team for about four seasons first time around. What what games what what games stand out for you in the memory from your first spell? Definitely my my debut game against Barnsley. Yeah, it was three 0 wasn't it? It was live on TV, so I was I was extra excited. Um, yeah, it was just, it was just a great game, and you know, my family came down to watch all my friends, and they they, didn't, they enjoyed it, and that was one of the, the main games I, I remember. You won 13 of your 14 England caps under Roy. How good is your relationship with him? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I know him previously from being the England manager, so um, I've worked with him. I know his, his style of football and you know training is similar to how he was in England, so I've adapted pretty well and I yeah, have a good relationship with him. You mentioned you the under-23 game under Sean Derry. Do you reckon you'll be playing a little bit for them first to get match fitness up? Yeah, definitely. I think um, another another game or so, uh, two games maybe. Um, you know, because the first game I played 45 minutes. I think the next will be like 60, and then and then 90 minutes, and then yeah, integrate with the first team, and hopefully I can get some some games. Off the field, how much are you uh, looking forward to being back in London? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a London boy. This is where I, this is where I grew up, so I'm basically back. I'm back home, and um, yeah, all my family and friends are here. So yeah, it's it's. It's surreal being back and, and, and enjoying it, and just hopefully I can just uh, crack on really and just in, enjoy my football again, as I said. Well, unfortunately, the fans won't won't be here. Well, we don't know when the fans are going to be back. Um, but the Palace fans have always given you a warm welcome when you come back, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. The fans have always been been great to me. So um, yeah, hopefully we can we can get them back in uh, sooner rather than later, and they can um, we can enjoy you know winning games back at Sellers Park again.